Well, after independence, Kenya promoted rapid economic growth through public investment, encouraged smallholder agricultural production, and provided incentives for private, often foreign industrial investment. Additionally, Kenya is a regional transportation and financial hub. Kenya has employed trade liberalization, domestic reforms such as deregulation and lower cost of doing business aimed at complementing trade liberalization and investments in human capital and infrastructure. Brand Guard brings us more from Nairobi. Foreign investment has been long considered a crucial driver of economic growth and development in developing countries like Kenya. As one of Africa's largest economies, the Kenyan government has been making concerted efforts to attract foreign investment, particularly in key sectors such as manufacturing, agriculture and infrastructure. In this feature, we explore the types of foreign investment Kenya has attracted, their impact on the economy and the challenges faced in attracting and managing foreign investment. Foreign investment can take many forms, such as foreign direct investment FDI, and portfolio investment. According to data from the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, Kenya has attracted significant amount of FDI in recent years, particularly in sectors such as energy, telecommunications and finance. I'd like to emphasize that the Netherlands is in the top three export markets for Kenya. As you know, we import a broad range of high quality agricultural products from Kenya, especially Kenyan flowers and horticultural products are all well known in the Netherlands. And besides agriculture, we see many opportunities for economic cooperation in logistics, life science and health, in water, renewable energy, and in e-mobility. The Netherlands and Kenya share a long history of strong economic relations. We look for equal and sustainable trade relations in Africa, not just for our own earning capacity, but more importantly, to create impact and broad prosperity in Africa. In 2022, FDI flows to Kenya increased by 18% despite the global economic downturn caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. We have more potential with the Kenyan talents. I saw talents are available. They are very knowledgeable people. Uh, in our my discussions also I told we have uh, skill plus uh, knowledge. We take knowledge uh, we acquire from universities. The impact of foreign investment on the Kenyan economy has been significant, particularly in terms of job creation. According to the Kenya Investment Authority, foreign investment projects created over 36,000 jobs in 2022 alone. The Kenya government started negotiations with the U.S. government last year on a free trade agreement because we want to provide a certainty to you uh, as investors. Foreign investment has also played a crucial role in the development of key sectors such as manufacturing, where foreign companies have brought in new technologies and expertise, boosting productivity and competitiveness. As we look into the future, we recognize that SMEs, developers, startups, 
continue to play a more significant role in our economy. The ecosystem is responsible for a lot of the innovation we see in Africa today, Your Excellency. As we celebrate the opening of the ADC hub, it will also house the Microsoft garage that is part of the makerspace here in, in the ADC. It's our, it's our way of saying to the members of the ecosystem and the innovators that we recognize you and we see you and we want to walk the journey with you. There's a lot of creativity, a lot of innovation, a lot of passion happening in Africa and that's what we're bringing to the table. It's just great to see such a vast depth of technical talent in the region for us to come and be a part of. And when we do this, we're going to be part of the community. The talent pool is so wonderful, and the expectations that they have for the future are big, bold, and ambitious stuff. And you want to be a part of that energy and enthusiasm. However, attracting and managing foreign investment is not without challenges. One of the key challenges faced by the Kenyan government is the potential exploitation of natural resources by foreign companies. For example, there has been concerns about the environmental impact of mining activities by foreign companies in Kenya, particularly in the coastal region. The government has been working to address these concerns through better regulations and monitoring of foreign investment projects. Another challenge faced by the Kenyan government is the need to balance the interests of foreign investors with those of the local communities. There have been cases where foreign investment projects have faced opposition from local communities, particularly over issues such as land rights and environmental concerns. The government has been working to address these issues through better consultation and engagement with local communities. Despite these challenges, the Kenyan government remains committed to attracting foreign investment as a key driver of economic growth and development. Within this strategy, Kenya is one of the countries we take a specific interest in with all the opportunities it offers. We have identified that more specifically, cooperation in the field of agri and horticulture, life health and sciences and water are good areas of common interest. The government has also been working to improve the business environment in Kenya through incentives such as ease of doing business program, which aims to reduce bureaucracy and improve regulatory environment for businesses. In supporting our investments, the government of Kenya has put in place both fiscal and non-fiscal incentives that include, among many things, capital deductions on industrial building, I'm sure you're aware of this, farm work, wear and tear, and investment. Others are in the special economic zones and export economic zones. A specific uh, intervention we have put in this budget is one thing that has always been problematic to our investors, and that is uh, VAT tax returns. It's always been problematic. The decision we have made is that any VAT tax returns that are due and verified if they are not paid within six months by our Kenya Revenue Authority, you are free to deduct. So we have taken the liberty from care to pay when they want. We have told them they must pay within six months. And if they don't pay, you're free to deduct from your other tax liabilities. <coughs> Foreign investment is a crucial component of Kenya's economic development strategy. By attracting foreign investment, the government aims to create jobs, boost productivity, and enhance competitiveness in key sectors. However, managing foreign investment is not without challenges, and the government must work to balance the interests of foreign investors with those of the local communities. 
Brian Gard, Maisha Television.